Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy Kato. That's right, Kato Train Me. Please give a name to Kayla Norton. And before this video continues, I would like you to calmly like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Because, uh, let's face it, the content's filling up and I got good content. But today, I want to address food. Getting right to it. I want to address food. I'm getting a lot of food questions. And I want to give you a, a Kaylin explanation to this food and how to eat to get lean. So I'm actually gonna do three videos. I'm gonna do a video of the perfect picture, the, the blueprint, the diagram, how I eat, and hopefully you can take that as a blueprint to turn it into a way that you eat, or if I'm really trying to shred up, if I'm trying to get lean. But hey, it's December, everybody knows it's bulking season, or at least we call it bulking season, because it's the holidays and we all put on weight automatically. I'll try to get to that, but that might be another video. So first and foremost, Today is the perfect day to go. What we do in the perfect day. First, some, a couple little tips. You have not worked the diet. Let's say I'm gonna say you have not. The way to work a diet, to give it a legitimate shot, let's say you get a diet online, a trainer gives it to you, to give that diet a legitimate shot, you have to try it for minimum a month to see if it works because I hate to tell you, there's, only, there's more than one way to skin a cat and maybe the diet suggestions you got, maybe that doesn't work for you, but you don't know unless you try it for at least a month. But other than having some chemical imbalance from this or that that you're doing, you got a thyroid this or, or something that's associated with actual health concerns, which 90% of you don't have that, you just use that as an excuse most of the time, or even all the time outside of these medical problems, if you work the diet, it will work. I promise you that. If you work the diet, it will work. So give yourself a minimum a month if you're trying something new before you say patoo and just throw it away. Can't try a diet for a day or even a week and say it didn't work. Your body has not even adjusted to the new beans that you've tried to introduce it to for protein. So. And you can't throw away diets because you're tooting too much. There's not a reason to throw away diet. Tooting is good for you. Anyway, I'm not trying to get nasty, but it's true. So, secondly, rules behind shredding up. If you have no idea, I'm not saying you've got to count calories for the rest of your life, but if you have no idea how many calories you're taking in and you're trying to shred, you're kind of lost. If you've counted before and you have a, a decent idea of what you're bringing in, you do not have to count all the time because you pretty much know what a deficit, a deficit is and it isn't. But if you're not in a caloric deficit, meaning that you burn more calories than you eat, you will not shred. Period. You will not shred. If you're not in a caloric deficit, meaning you eat less than you burn, you got, you got to give out more than you put in. Sucks, sad but true, you will not be in a caloric deficit. I actually got this question today. Moving on. That's point number two. Moving on, I got this question today. I hear that abs are made in the kitchen. Obviously, I've also heard the opposite of that, but the popular one these days is I heard abs are made in the kitchen. Da -da -da -da. You are being lazy. It helps, actually, you need the kitchen. You need to eat well to get abs, to shred, this and that. You also need to work your abs. You gotta do sit-ups. You gotta do Russian twists. You gotta do leg lifts. You don't have to be an encyclopedia of ab workouts because repetitions add up. But you do, yes, you do have to do both. You won't only get abs in the kitchen. You won't only get abs in the gym. You must do both. By attacking only doing one of those things, you are being lazy. So, now, that's three tips. And forgive me, I'm trying to freestyle this. There's no bulletin board here. This is chocolate. This is me from my heart letting you know how I like to shred it up. So, Kato, waking up. Perfect day. First of all, I intermittent fast. There are so many videos on intermittent fasting. Uh, one of my friends a long time ago, I was uh, talking to him about intermittent fasting. Simply, it's 16 hours of a fast and sleep count. So if you sleep for eight hours, you have eight hours and then till you can have your first meal. Believe if you eat at eight o'clock, 
8 in the morning, that takes you to 12 p.m. So if your last meal is at 8 p.m. at night, you can then eat at 12 p.m. the next day. While you fast, when you wake up to, uh, to keep yourself busy, especially in the beginning, because in the beginning it's hard, when you're intermittent fast, it is, uh, it's best to stay busy, one. You know, get up, read your book, even work out. It's great to work out in an empty stomach. Please don't be scared of working out in an empty stomach. Uh, like I said, stay busy, work out. It's okay to have coffee if you're a coffee drinker. Whew. Especially if you're one of those people that has work to do on the computer in the morning. Your body, being on an empty stomach, plus you're on coffee, you're gonna get loads done. You're gonna type with aggression, I promise you. Tea, if you can't handle the spike, of the caffeine in the coffee. Have yourself a tea, green tea, hibiscus tea. If you don't like caffeine, if your body doesn't behave well with caffeine, I'm very uh, hooked on matcha right now. And I make my own matcha with my own little Japanese kit and everything. Also, maybe another video. Anyway, intermittent fast. Basically what intermittent fasting does is it gives your body, and this is the quote from my buddy, sorry bro, it gives your body enough time to just empty all that stuff out. Even if you ain't kind of bad the rest of the, the, rest of the day, you Giving yourself, you're giving your body a chance to start chewing up fat in your body. You, you're giving yourself enough time to, to begin that shredding process. You're giving your, your body an opportunity to heal. You're not just snacking and pounding on food and pounding on food. And, and, you're, not, and, you, and you're just not consuming, consuming. You're giving your body a legitimate chance to heal and start over before you start filling yourself up again. So, intermittent fasting, also, probably another video. I'm not going to dig too deep into it right now. But basically, in short, you're giving your body the time and the opportunity to chew up that fat, that layer of fat in your body. First meal, for me, uh, if you really want a meal plan and you want what's specific for you, you gotta, you gotta get me personally for that. But for me, anywhere from three to six eggs, yes, I hard boil, I hard boil them. You don't have to. I'm in a very fuel is food, food is fuel time of my life. Six hard boiled eggs. I don't really mess with the seasoning too much. I don't even care. Smash these things with a whole avocado. Cut it up, put it in there, smash it up, boom. Make a little bowl of three to six hard boiled eggs, a whole avocado. That'll be made to the side, I'll prepare that. But before I eat the eggs and the avocado, I have a bowl of mixed berries. Mixed berries, blueberries, raspberries, schnozberries, blackberries, no, uh, snozberries don't exist. For you people on the time, you have to correct yourself all the time. I know. So berries don't exist. A bowl of mixed berries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, sometimes strawberries, but the, the big three, and there's berries in all of the fruit. I know you've heard that before. There's berries in all of the fruit. All of the fruit. And I make sure I eat the berries first. Even if I don't eat all the berries first, I make sure I consume the berries first because antioxidants, especially in this time of COVID, we're all trying to protect yourself, because antioxidants behave better or more effective when they hit an empty stomach. It's like how you shouldn't take cough medicine on an empty stomach. You should eat food, you should eat those berries on an empty stomach. That's good stuff to eat on an empty stomach. Freaking night pool and day pool away, have berries every day, please. Monster's high on antioxidants also. I'm still I'm giving you all these previews to other videos, but I'm trying to give you the day to day. So, I've smashed that breakfast, boom, the three to five eggs. The avocado, the berries, boom. I probably, because I know I got a, work, a big workout coming out, comes in, so I probably smash at least a handful of raw cashews, raw almonds, or something like that, and then get about my day. Go whether I have personal training sessions or I have my own training session at all. Uh, I know I have a busy day, and I'll probably even, I've had clients already during the day, I've already had a busy day, and that's so why I said stay busy up until that first meal but I'm just trying to give you a mental picture of what I got going on. So, all that stuff happens, more happens. Whew. Next, that midday meal, I'll probably have myself some full fat yogurt, full fat yogurt, like some cocoa, with some dark 70% or higher cocoa, dark chocolate chips, raw almonds or cashews, more berries, sometimes use coconut yogurt too, some type of some type of yogurt, but I like the, the full fat. I like the full fat in yogurt. Um, it's a, a natural probiotic. Have that during the day if I can get a hold of it, if I have the opportunity to. 
uh, like to have myself like a, like a chicken salad type of thing, a hearty salad. So, you know, spinach, kale type of salad with nuts, uh, cheese, uh, tomatoes, salad during the day, very hearty. Um, having myself a green tea while this is going on. I roll, I told you about that handful, I'm rolling with the raw cashews. Lots of fat, lots of, lots of good fat though in raw nuts, okay? And when I tell you cashews, almonds, walnuts, I do not eat roasted in horrible vegetable oil or thing you can't pronounce, salted in things you can't pronounce. Read the ingredients when you, when, you, when you buy these things. I'm talking about raw nuts. That's right, make your nuts jokes, all you idiots with small brains make jokes about nuts. No, he eats nuts, he eats nuts. Anyway, <laughs> raw nuts. Gold, golden for snacks as you're mopping around. And uh, also like the, like the dried fruit, like, like dried mango, that type of things. Have stuff like that, healthy snacks in your bag for your day to day. Boom, okay? That's the, that's the meal for me. That's it. I'm gonna keep in mind, I'm six foot one, I'm a 200 pound guy. That's about it for me. And then later, hours later, around that eight o'clock time, here we are again, it's dinner time. And remember, this is perfect world day. So I am what I have called, so I'm a pescatarian that eats eggs. And I've heard, well, you're not a pescatarian and you eat eggs. Okay, I'm a pescatarian that eats eggs. Love the macros breakdown of eggs for me. Good fat, protein, hardly any carbs. All right. I love fish. I'm a pescatarian that eats eggs. All right. Fish, veg, eggs. I'm not, and this is not me saying it's perfect everyone. This is not me saying that I don't eat red meat because it does happen, and sometimes it does happen often. It depends on what type of mood I'm in. But remember. This is me shredding up, and when I'm shredding, I don't break. If I'm in the middle of a shred, and I really wanna shred my stuff up, I don't break. And you shouldn't either. Exercise discipline, people, exercise discipline. So, my go-to salmon, grilled salmon, baked salmon, not fried salmon, don't fry the fish. My ninjas know who I'm talking to, don't fry the fish. Salmon, vegetable, kale, broccoli, bok choy, Asparagus, asparagus, uh, cauliflower, yada, yada, yada. Uh, if you need that, um, that carb side, you know, because everybody thinks you need potatoes, everybody thinks you need rice, it just completes the plate. It gives you that triangle, it's more for presentation. You don't really need it. Fish and veg, fish and veg, salmon, a bunch of broccoli, salmon, a bunch of cauliflower, cauliflower. halibut, red snapper, Maui, Tuna, swordfish, oh, you could go salmon, shrimp, vegetable. If you must have that third side, I like quinoa. Quinoa is an amazing protein slash carb slash superfood that you can take to the bank. Salmon is gold. You can take it to the bank. And now 8 o'clock, so however long the dinner lasts, it's over. And now I'll give you... Another tip as far as like intermittent fasting goes in, in the window. If you have a busy, sporadic, all over the place schedule like I do, I recommend definitely use a, some sort of scheduling app. Use some sort of day-to-day -day planner. Use something, even if your day's out of whack in your head, there are many tools these days you can use to organize it. But please do not do, don't not intermittent fast because you have a wacky schedule. If my last, if my dinner is at 10 o'clock that night, and I'm in the middle of eating the fast, then you eat it too the next day. And if you can't eat it too because your schedule has whacked out, don't eat before. Eat after. People say, I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm starving. This is something, especially in the beginning, that you're gonna get have to get used to. And guess what? You are not starving. Especially if you're trying to shred and this is what you actually want. If you've eaten in the last three days, you are not starving. You greedy mofo. So exercise discipline, intermittent fast, summon your perfect day, whatever that may be. Remember, I'm making three videos. This is perfect day. I'm having the eggs, I'm having the avocado, I'm having the berries. Middle of the day, cashews, 
yogurt, nice little snack. Then I'm gonna have the, the hearty salad, and you know, hearty salad, and then I'm doing the salmon, the veg. It all adds up to about 2,100 calories. 2,100, I'm out, 200 pounds. Because with the workout and this and that, that puts me in that caloric deficit. Boom. The next video I'm going to do is me eating like without being a pescatarian, like you know, like Loki, kind of like I'm eating right now, but uh, like big boy diet, like you know, I'm not, I'm not really intermittent fasting. You know what I'm saying? I'm not pescatarian, but I'm still eating good food. I mean, healthy food because the type of food does matter. Don't say that it doesn't. The type of food that you eat does matter. And then the last video, it's only gonna be a three video series. The last video I'm going to make is when I'm like, you know what, F, F a diet, F this eating habit, I don't care. It's Christmas, it's holiday season, I'm, I'm hitting my cravings, I'm doing whatever I want, I'm tired of trying to exercise discipline and this and that. I'm gonna hit you with that video too. Like all the stuff that I like to indulge in. And then, in that video, also try to let you know that it's not done unconsciously, which I've kind of given it away, but no matter what, that is an, another good point. No matter what you've decided to do as far as your eating goes, eat consciously. Don't just unconsciously walk around eating Doritos and stuff because you're bored. You know, don't, don't do that. Eat consciously. When you put something in your body, understand why you're doing it, what's in it, if you're doing those two things and you know how much food you're consuming, you're 80% you're of the way there. But uh, this is video number one in how do I eat series, and then I'll put a slash probably in the title, how should you eat series. Uh, remember, a perfect day is a pescatarian with eggs, baby, inside an intermittent fast cloud slash window. This is Kayla North. They call me Kato Chain, please. Please comment, like, Subscribe to my channel. I don't know what that movie is, Justin, but uh, comment, subscribe, like, and I'm out of here. I'll go.